Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check, where today we are going to be checking in Imhotep, A New Dynasty, an expansion for the board game Imhotep, Builder of Egypt from Cosmos Games. I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, normally answering your game and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, I am answering the question, what's in the box? But normally, I answer your questions. You can send your gaming and game night questions to questions at tabletopbellhop.com, and you can find answers to other people's questions, or possibly your own, at our website at tabletopbellhop.com. We also answer your questions on our podcast, the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which you can find through iTunes, Stitcher, or your usual podcatcher. Before you go, be sure to hit the subscribe or follow button, and we are going to dive right in to this expansion for Imhotep. So this is from Phil Walker Harding, the maker of the original game, the Imhotep expansion game, A New Dynasty, that is put out by Cosmos Games. I do have to thank Cosmos for providing this review copy of this game. There was no other compensation received. A monumental variety, new site boards, new market cards, and lots more, together with the base game, these sight boards yield 1,024 combinations. Uh, you do need to own Imhotep, which I don't think is surprising. Construction of the Egyptian monuments continues. You have shown yourself to be worthy and have been selected to lead future building projects. Can you prove your skill once again? In the market, there are new tools to support you in your work. Even the Egyptian gods are paying attention to your achievements. They are ready to reward you if you're able to predict your building plans with accuracy. But if you fail, you will be punished. This has five double-sided sight boards, four chariot figures, one Imhotep figure, 14 market cards, seven prophecies of the guards, five, four obelisk cards, 24 tomb tokens, 15 obelisk tokens, eight scarab tokens, eight coin tokens, five scaffold tokens, and one rule book. Finally, Imhotep has scarabs. For fans of the mummy, you'll get that. Uh, this is rated 2 to 4 players, so it does not add any. That's the same as the original. Age is 10 and up with a 50-minute playtime, so it does increase the playtime by 10 minutes. It is rated a 4 out of 5 in strategy, a 2 out of 5 in luck, a 5 out of 5 in player interaction, and a 5 out of 5 in, uh, what do we have? Feather, Osiris, I have no idea. And again, I kind of dig the fact they put the Egyptian on there. If anyone can read hieroglyphics, let me know what this is 5 out of 5 on. So that's it. We're going to open this up. Not going to be any more delay. We have a nice tall rule book. We have some meeple. We are going to pull these out because these look interesting. So these have got to be the chariots. I got to say, that's a cute meeple. So you got the horse pulling the guy in the cart. And we have that in four different colors. I'm going to assume player color. No, I have not played Imhotep, nor have I played this expansion before. And to be honest, I haven't even seen much about this expansion online. Imhotep, I did do some research on it. It looks really cool. And here we have the Imhotep figure. And I had no idea Imhotep's feet were so big. Look at that. That's a huge feat. <laughs> I'm sure it's just to stand the meeple up. All right. So we have some meeple. Something that was not in the base game. The base game was all cards cardboard and wooden cubes so we have the rule book we'll jump back to that at the end we have baggies thank you baggies are good also no a little bit of wasted space i don't quite get why they didn't make the box that high instead of that high but still no weird silly insert we got punch boards we're just going to flip these out uh this has a c side so the c burial chamber and the d side so in the original game, each of the boards were A and B sides. So it looks like we have C and D versions of now we have the obelisk, the great obelisk, and the obelisk alley. Again, two-sided, much larger boards than the base game. Uh, we have the black market, which is dark, which is kind of amusing, or the luxury market, which is light. And then we have the pyramid scaffolding or the pyramid corridors. And I have no idea. There's some actual Tetris style pieces, so some polyominoes. Here, I'm going to take some of these off just so you can see these. We have polyominoes. So, polyominoes are a new aspect of Imhotep. 
Interesting. Uh, just like the base game, everything is coming off of these boards extremely easily. That's a nice touch. And we have the Temple Arena and the Temple of Ra. Still really dig the art. Like, that's nice. It's a cool perspective. It's a nice top-down. Very clear text on how to do everything. And then we have cards. We have some cards in this set, which we are going to open up quick. Again, it does have a cigarette-style opening, like a tab to pull, but I prefer to use an exacto because trying to find the right spot to pull those tabs is always terrible. Hobby knife. I say exacto too often. Exacto is getting free advertising. So we are going to look through. What do we have? Okay, I have no idea what these are. So we have cards showing the three different player colors, it looks like. Uh, white on white. Here, let me grab one with black bricks instead. We have a bunch of cards with a very pretty Osiris background. And these look like they're the gods. So we have the Prophecy of Anubis. We have the Prophecy of Isis and a bunch of other Egyptian gods. Again, dig the art. I like it. Nice and clear. And then the rest of these cards are the same and are one-time action. Return two stones to the stone quarry. Loading planks, crafts, cargo sleds. These look like they're kind of like technology cards. So I'll just show off a couple of these. Looks cool. Again, I haven't played the original game, but looks pretty good so far. So now we're just going to put this back in and we're going to take a quick look at that rule book. I'm going to throw the meeple in the bottom. So additional rule book has another seven pages. Uh, looks like these are module. Make it eight because there is an explanation of the market cards on the back. So eight pages counting the back. Uh, lists all the new game materials, tells you what's new. So there's five double-sided boards. Now for each board type, there is an A, B, C, and D. You're going to decide each play. Um, you can mix it up. So you can have um, D market, A pyramid, C temple. So that's going to be a lot of different things. The seven processes of the guards. Um, all the rules in the base game are unchanged, which is interesting to know. And then it, I like this. It's color-coded to show the different modules. So this is ex explanation of the site boards is in red. Then we have explanation of the D side is in purple. And then in yellow is the prophecy of the gods rules. Very cool, clear rules. Dark text on a light background, which I appreciate. Fonts, fairly easy to read. It's a little tiny. I would have liked a little bit bigger, but that's fine. Looks good. So that is Imhotep Expansion Game, is how it's worded. A New Dynasty. So that is the expansion for Imhotep. I think this came out 2019. Might have been 2018. So this is pretty new. And that is for the core game of Imhotep, both from Cosmos and designer Phil Walker Harding. Looking forward to checking this game out soon. Uh, you will be able to find my review eventually at tabletopbellhop.com. That's the, the, the hub of all the Tabletop Bellhop content. Uh, we've got a link to our media and so on. We've got everything there. So for Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. If you dug this, be sure to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. Um, check out our podcast, the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. And as I said, head over to tabletopbellhop.com to find all kinds of gaming content. For Tabletop Bellhop, I'm Mo. Good night and game on. <laughs>